Okay, hey YouTube, um, this is my PC, again, changed, uh, I've added grill lights there, um, a bottle of eBay, and a red fan at the top, so it's kind of, yeah, it's looking pretty cool, I mean, yeah, we've got the red there, red at the side, and we've got red keyboard and mouse as well, but the biggest change is that I picked up um, two other monitors, I bought them pre-owned uh, and I managed to get them for about the equivalent of $180 for both so, which is really good price, 90 each um, and yeah, I, I bought them pre-owned off eBay but they're in perfect condition and so now I can play, it's not iFinity, it's NVIDIA Surround with a single GTX 680 so I'm going to show you the kind of experience that you can expect with one of these cards and there's three 1080p monitors so um, yeah right, let me just set up a game Start with maybe Assassin's Creed. I mean, yeah, this isn't the most demanding game, but on three screens, yeah, it is demanding. I mean, almost any game becomes demanding. Even the games like Dirt and that kind of thing, they become big. Yeah, um, so the card means that basically I can't uh, have four times anti aliasing. But apart from that, everything's on maximum settings. Adaptive V-Sync is on. So. so it looks really good on surround mode. You get a really wide field of view. I know you can't quite fully see the third screen, but you know, I mean, this just is a totally in a new sort of league compared when with like consoles and that kind of thing. Just can't get it. I'm getting a solid 60 frames per second, and anti-aliasing is on yeah two times. So yeah, I think you get the idea of that. Quit that. Now I'll show you um, Dirt 3. I mean the three monitors, they're not just for gaming, you can use them for multitasking and stuff, so you can literally just drag a window onto another panel and view it there. So you can have yeah three different Internet Explorer things actually open at once. Which is cool. And I mean this is one of the a really well this is yeah a really well optimized game for NVIDIA surround. You get pretty much the, per the best experience. So, um, I'll just play through one race so you can see. Everything is on max settings, as per.
And this kind of just proves that a single GTX 680 can handle multiple resolutions, multiple screen resolutions. It's definitely powerful enough. You get the odd bit of stuttering, but really it's perfectly playable. 60 frames per second, pretty much all the time. Just check the graphics options. Yeah, so everything is on the max settings. Yep. Okay. It looks awesome. I mean, yeah, you could probably just stick a steering wheel plug one of them in, and you probably feel like you're in the car. Get the full peripheral vision, which is really nice. And we're on two times anti-aliasing. So we really don't see any jagged edges, which is awesome. By the way, if anyone can recommend like a program to get my um, taskbar stretching across three screens, can you just like write a comment because I can't actually do that at the minute. All the apps that people have told me are like paid apps, and I'm literally skinned at the minute because I've kind of used all my dodge. So if there are any free apps, then please tell me. As you can see, I mean, these monitors are literally coming up, practically coming off my desk on either side. It's kind of a, a really tight fit. Um, but, I mean, yeah, it fits. Just hope they don't get knocked over. I just um, don't want to get the chance. And I'll show you one last game, which is Crisis, because everyone wants to see Crisis. I mean, if you if you can afford a um, triple one to set up, and you know you've got decent GPU horsepower to power it, then it, I can't recommend it more. That combined with 3D vision, which you don't actually need 3D monitors for, you can use the red and blue, which may put off some people, but I think it actually looks great. You don't need a 3D one to do that, so you can actually have 3D surround with just three standard monitors. Yeah, okay. Well, yeah, I'll just do Crisis Warhead. Probably a bit better optimized. So, yeah, the menus are a little bit off. The actual gameplay wise works perfectly. As you'll see. Does some funny stuff while it's loading as so. well. This isn't one of the more optimized games. Oh, 
uh, anti-aliasing is off and, and V-Sync is on adaptive so yeah V-Sync's on anti-aliasing is off because I mean this is crisis So, I mean, I'm not actually playing to win this, but I don't know if you can see this, but it looks immense. You probably can see that. I'm probably going to get killed because I'm not actually ready. And remember, this is off a single GTX 680. Yeah, you get the idea. And that's awesome. It actually is amazing. Other than gaming, I mean, so you can, you know, I mean, the desktop is kind of seamlessly integrated. You can just move stuff around, you can, you know, say I open a web browsing page here, I can just flip that over to that page, pick that up, take it over there, so for example I can watch YouTube video there, I can be Be sort of yeah, browsing my documents here. Could be checking my music out on that screen. If anyone wants to know the song is um, "Desert Rain" by Edward Meyer. It's a Romanian song, I think, but it's awesome. go full screen on that video, it'll center on the middle screen. And let's see. Turn it into HD. I mean obviously the video wasn't made for three screens so you can't exactly yeah it doesn't it's not optimized for that so you can't play it on all three screens. It'd be awesome if you could but you, you can't so deal with it. Um, yeah I, I'm just fiddling around with it to be honest. I'm just getting used to the whole um, 3D thing surrounding view yeah yeah I mean again normal wallpapers will look funny if you like equip if you just stick that on for example I mean yeah that doesn't look too good but then as soon as you stick on a wallpaper that was kind of meant for this kind of resolution you get a fantastic picture that kind of thing I mean, the best way to find those wallpapers is to just, you know, search Google or something. Just type in um, wallpapers of this resolution or something. Yeah, I kind of like this tree one. And this. That's cool. So, yeah. I'd say, in a way, this is better than iFinity, because NVIDIA's driver support is just a whole lot better. It's a world ahead of AMD's yeah, so-called driver support slash there isn't any. Um, yeah, I think I've told my other video my last card was an AMD 7950 and I just got so fed up I, could, I couldn't deal with it anymore. It was awful. So yeah, I managed to get a replacement. 
And so yeah, thanks for watching. Rate, subscribe, comment, like, whatever.